Well, it looks like Hurricane Hillary finally hit Southern California. What better thing to do in a little bit of rain during the summer is customize a Halloween mask. We are in late August and it's Halloween time, baby. So I went over to Spirit Halloween. I picked up this blank mask. But before I get into the process, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. Uh, check my previous videos. I have customized other masks before. Um, so for this mask, I wanted to give it a, a rust kind of look like something that's been sitting in water for a long time and um, I started with some uh, artist loft acrylic I picked it up at Michael's a while back I'm sure you could find uh, beginner paints like this at any arts and crafts store but they do the job just fine I mixed some yellow and red and I got this kind of softer orange color and over the black it looks really nice it automatically gives you a little bit of a rust look to it and I, I like using these flat edge foam brushes and yeah, you get nice straight lines um, that's why I like them it's kind of a cheat and then I go in with a dry brush and I give it a dry brush effect lightly shout out to Bob Ross starting to come together a little bit we're not quite there yet so I go in with a little bit of black and I make these cool lines to give it a little bit of character let me know what you guys think so far in the comments and if you like customizing masks it's a fun little project. These masks are really inexpensive also. So um, pick one up and customize one if you have some time. So we're doing some cool lines here. I'm gonna go in and give these a nice dry brush effect also. As you could see in the video. Also let me know in the comment section if you guys got any rain where you're located. I just dropped the mask. Yeah, let's give it a dry brush, starting to come together even more. So we're getting close to finishing this bad boy. And I go in with um, a little bit of sandpaper to give it a, a kind of a deader look, I guess you would say. Some parts I go a little heavier in with the sandpaper than other. It gives it some cool character, especially because the mask is black itself. So you get some nice effects to it. So there you go. We're going to go over with uh, some glossy spray. This is kind of an older can I've had. I'm not sure if they still make this one or not, but you could find glossy sealers out there at your arts and crafts. And there's the mask. I think it came out pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, how I did, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.